Okay, so you are on the main page. I'm sure your teacher will have given you your username and password. So you have something with some letters, and usually you have something like your first name and your second name uh, all together um, uh, for digit. So let's go, let's go in and let's have a quick look inside. Okay, so once you're in, you put your password in, uh, you land on this page here. So what's going to be of interest, you can see that you have your name here and your profile. Uh, which is uh, not overly exciting. You have your username here. Activity starts. You can see you have a few things. You can see uh, all the stuff that you have been doing, but we'll see that in a bit. Uh, what you're interested in is my classes. So your teacher will have sorted out things for you. You can see in your class you have 10 students. Obviously, it doesn't really matter. But what is more important is you can see that you have as two assignments. Okay, so if I click on it, you can see that you have assignment number one and assignment number two. Ch check the dates, which are very important. Obviously, these have been set at the same time. Make sure that you are going there at the, at the right moment and, and obviously doing on time. The only thing you need to do, obviously, is if you want to start a, uh, a new assignment, just click on Start. And there you're in, okay? As simple as this. You can also see that you have a competitions so if your teacher has also set a competition, usually it could be in class or it could be out of class, you click on that and you can see that the competition is running and you see how long you have left to do the competition. But I'll show you that in, in a minute. First of all, we're going to start by the assignment. So in terms of assignment, uh, you see that you have a reading translation into English here. You click on start. You're going to get to your questions and you can see you have different types of exercises which are I'm sure not super complex but what is very good though in that you should understand you can use whilst you're doing your exercises is you still have access to your sentence builder so if you're a bit stuck with your answers okay you still can have a quick look there and answer through these things here. So it's always the possibility to do that. So dans mon quartier, il n'y a pas beaucoup d'installations sportives. In my neighborhood, there are many sports. So what word am I looking for? Probably facilities here. Okay, little bell ringing and I click and I move on to the next one, etc, etc. Okay, so you can see at the bottom there, uh, sometimes when you're going to have some listening things to do, you can change the text to speech to a certain speed. Obviously, you want it to uh, fit your um, understanding. So if it's a bit too quick, you can put it a bit a bit less, okay? Especially when you listen to the sentence builder. I would recommend about 70, 80%, otherwise it's gonna sound a little bit weird. Um, click back on there. You have that music thing here, that music note. I wouldn't change anything there. It does, you don't really need to do anything. And this one is just to make a full page of your um, uh, of your exercise, of your assignment. When you have completed a, um, an exercise, you can see one out of 12 sections have been completed. You can see that obviously you got five out of five and you, uh, completed, that, you completed that in 52 seconds, you got 100% score. But uh, if you had a lesser score or maybe you want to achieve 100% every single time, you are very welcome to click on this, okay, to redo the, um, the part of the assignment if you really want to, to achieve a better score. But you can only do that at the end of each section. So if I click on this, I am going to be starting section one. Okay, but you cannot, you just have to do it immediately. You cannot restart part three if you've completed part four, part five. Okay, so that's kind of the thing. So if I'm not happy with the result of one of them, or maybe your teacher said, you cannot move forward if you didn't get 70%. So you will have to restart, click on that, and you restart your section. Now, if I go back to class, as I mentioned before, if your teachers are set a competition, uh, you can go on to that. You click on compete. Uh, at the moment, you see that you have uh, obviously uh, no, no points, obviously. Again, same sentence builders, which is based on the stuff you're meant to be working on, if it helps. You to get as many points as you can, uh, you click on activity menu, and again, there uh, it will be your choice unless you've been told to be using a certain game of certain activity to be picking the game of your choice. There, so if you want to translate to French, for example, here you click on that and you get number of points. Um, if you want to go on paragraphs, you do that. Certain games get you more points, so I would say 
do explore and see how much you can get for every game that you're going to be playing. And you will have also the leaderboard. Sometimes in class you can have a look into it if it's only a 10 minute thing or five minute. But obviously if it's a, a one day one or a couple of weeks one, you, you will see who's leading and where and when. Now, you also have the possibility to access resources. So it'd be up to you to decide if you want to be doing a bit of extra. I think you don't have to, but it's always a nice thing to, uh, to, uh, to make sure that you, you keep improving your subject. Uh, you have many languages here. You can even practice a new language if you fancy learning something about Welsh or Spanish or Malay or Japanese. That could be quite an exciting thing to do and learn in your own time. Uh, what you probably want to be doing is sometimes you are my teacher resources. Sometimes the teachers has created some user, some sentence builders. Here's only French. You have some stuff you can have access here. My school resources, it could be different languages. Here's only French, okay? But it will be up to you. But you also obviously have the SB Premium resources based on the language gym. Uh, depending what level your teacher will have told you to be to being a good look into. If you want to go on to uh, Trilogy Part 2, for example, here you have all sorts of exercises. So maybe during the holidays you want to practice something. And saying where I live, you have all of the sentence built there. You can have a play with it. Again, you probably remember or you could probably have a quick look. When you click on it, you have the right pronunciation. J'habite. Okay. Dans un appartement. Okay, so you have the right pronunciation. It's a good pro practice your exercise. If you have a printer at home, you can potentially print that up if you wanted to, okay? Which is a nice thing to do too. And after these, it's not really concerning you too much, to be honest. I don't think you really need to be doing anything special on that one. And so same thing for uh, the note here. Don't change anything, there's no need to. If, for example, in your school, you have several teachers using the same sentencebuilders.com but a different language, you could be having be in two different classes, for example, here. So you can join a class. In that case, because you already have a username and password, you just need to be having two codes. So join a class, you need to get a class code and you need to create also the password that your teacher will have given you. Put the code in, put the password in, join a class. And there we go. Now you just call the cool class. What a lovely name. And you are now in a Spanish class. So you'll be able to do exactly the same stuff and practice your Spanish and do some stuff in Spanish.